Ice fishing's a lot of fun. Today I'm using the Squidgy Prawn, brand new product we've got out. A lot of research has gone into this one. It's a deadly little lure. I've just marked some fish on the sounder, thrown that prawn back. I'm letting it sink down on a two gram ball head. Now I'm going to lift it a couple of times and hopefully some silly fish will grab it. Just a couple of lifts, yep. Okay, a couple of lifts. Once you throw it out, that feels a better fish. Oh yeah, you love that little prawn. It's pretty simple. Uh, once you've found a couple of fish, two gram head, got the net. Make sure the S factor's on the prawn because they do really love that S factor. Now that's not a bad black brim. Nice, fat, solid fish. And he's fairly grabbed that little prawn. Yeah, this technique works really well on a number of species. You can get trevally, brim, flatties. Works really well. Everything loves to eat a prawn, especially a little squidgy prawn. Thanks, Brim. He's a nice one. We'll just let him go. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Go the prawn. Let's get another one. Just mark some fish on the sounder. So we've got our little squidgy prawn on. It's thrown back where the school of fish should be. Hopefully we're going to let it sink down into that school. And then just a couple of little lifts to make that tail wriggle. Maybe a fish will do the right thing and grab it for us. One little tip when you're fishing with soft plastics, always use the breeze to your advantage. There's normally some sort of wind and it does tend to freak people out a bit, but it actually helps you. Always throw with the wind, big long cast, you'll get the lure well away from the boat and uh, lob it next to some unsuspecting fish, much more likely to grab one. Yep, <laughs> there we go. Now it's a bit tricky when you first start fishing with the plastic to know where to do it. Um, in this particular case, we're mainly using our depth finder so we can see the fish on the sounder and then uh, we know where to get. Oh, that's not a bad little black brim. Here he comes. And we know that the fish gang up here before they go spawning in this rough area. And then we look on the sounder and just see if we can mark a few and throw that little squidgy prawn out. And uh, he's grabbed it. Um, they've been diabolically effective, those little squidgy prawns. Everything loves them, flatties, brim, whatever. They love them. All right, we'll let him go, and uh, he can get on with his, uh, with his life. See you, mate. This is the way we rig up to use a little squidgy prawn. I've got a two gram ball head with a number two hook and about a four pound leader. That's about two rod lengths. And I've got the prawn here. Now the only important thing really is to start right between his little feelers and try and get the prawn on nice and straight so that it comes out a little ridge on the top of him. So when he sits on that jig head, it should be nice and straight so he's gonna really perform. Now, very important, you need that S factor. That makes a big difference when you're catching these fish. And these little uh, leggy bits underneath the prawn there, that helps to catch the, uh, catch the scent. So you put that under there. Now he's ready to put in the water. Hopefully fish is gonna eat him. Yeah, <laughs> yes. It's a bit tricky to find out where to fish your plastics, I guess, when you first start. But they're very effective in all sorts of places. You can use a light jig head over the sand flats. It's a little bit deeper water like we've got here. You can use a slightly heavier one. This one's not a big fish, but we've got a two gram head here and I'm fishing in about 12 foot of water. But the main thing is, especially when you're starting out, just vary your jig head weights. Um, you can try for 10 minutes with one style of jig head, maybe a two grammer. If that doesn't work, you can try a light one, go to a 1.5 gram. And if the water's a little bit deeper, you can try a three gram head. So just keep swapping around throughout the day and eventually you'll get in the right place with the right head and bang, you're gonna catch a good fish. Now it's a bit breezy today and you can see while I'm hopping this plastic along, I'm watching my line and we need a little bit of a belly in the line but not too much. You don't want it to be pulled way out by the wind and you don't want to be absolutely tight to it. 
just need a little bit of belly and then you watch that line about a foot from where it goes into the water and when the fish grabs it, it's going to do a flick. And when you see that little flick, that's when you strike and you're going to have that prawn right down his throat. Yep. Oh, that feels like a nice fish. And that's a good feeling when you get a nice outfit. Beautiful. That's an Anarchy 702 that I'm using here, Shimano. I've got an Anos 1000. And a bit of Power Pro bite motion line, because it's very good to actually see the bites when that fish grabbed the, uh, the little prawn. It jumped, so you could actually see it. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. See if we can get a net here somewhere. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, there you go. The result of uh, putting a few things together. And that's what happens. A beautiful black brim. How yeah, good is that little prawn looking in there? <laughs> well, there you go. Grab yourself some prawns. Get a nice outfit from Shimano. And that's what you can do.